What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Let me show you something. Look at my garage, man. Remember I did that vlog where it showed us cleaning up my garage? It was spick and span and clean. And look at it now. It's because uh, when, I, when we picked up all the stuff from my father-in-law's girlfriend house when he finally moved out, all this stuff is his. Except for that pinball machine. But all this stuff is his, man. All in this garage. We bought some new camping gear. You, you guys seen that vlog. Uh, these, these mats right here. There's his telescope right there with all his weights on it, all his stuff, his big old telescope right here because he love astronomy. Uh, that, that love seat and those two chairs right there came out of our living room because uh, that's where we had his bed at, guys. You guys seen his bed in the living room. That's why we're looking for another place. But yeah, man, my garage is still messed up. There's some sleeping bags and stuff we got to organize that we bought for our camping that we just came back from camping. You guys saw that uh vlog um but yeah we got to straighten all this up guys but we're gonna leave it like this for now because um we're gonna be moving but yeah guys i just want to show you that the garage there uh we're gonna be moving soon i'm all i'm we, we're looking for another place to go right now this place is too small now plus it's old um it was supposed to be temporary but we never moved because you know things happen guys but we're gonna finally move out of here but what i, I want to show y'all um i rented this van i rented this u-haul van right here so I can get all the trash and stuff out of the garage. Because you see our trash cans right here. See that little small thing right there? It's too small, man. It's too small. Uh, we can fill that up with two or three bags and that's it. So I'm going to have to order a new, uh, probably another one or, or a bigger size. That's our uh, solid waste can. And this is our uh, aluminum, uh, you know, recycle can. You know, cardboard and stuff like that. And in this one, I really got to clean out. Well, not this one. This is one we still got cans in, but it was full to the top. I had to empty it. My father, my brother-in-law was putting trash in it, so I, they wouldn't empty it because it's got trash in it. If you don't have what you're supposed to have in each and every one, they're not going to pick it up. Look at this one. It's got maggots and stuff in it because my brother-in-law, he, he takes the trash out for us. And I kept saying, why did they not empty this thing? And I didn't know he had trash in it. So, um, yeah, guys, but let me show you the van, how I got this van stacked up. Look at this. This is all the stuff came out of the garage. And my brother-in-law, he's, he's, he's kind of mentally disabled. He likes buying all this cheap stuff at the uh, swap meets and uh, stuff like that that don't work. He finds out they don't work or they don't work for a couple of times and then they break. But yeah, that's all the trash I just took out of the garage, guys. And like I said, our trash builds up pretty fast and, and we got this little small trash can. So uh, my trash builds up faster than we can get rid of it. So I got to take it to the dump. So, uh, it's a good thing for you, haul man. It's a good thing you can rent a vehicle and take care of stuff. I mean, you know, if you really think about it, it's really not that expensive. Um, I mean, you know, I think this one was like $20 a day plus miles. So that's not bad. Um, but yeah, guys, I am on my way to the dump. Yeah, guys, I'm on my way to the dump right now. And, uh, it stinks in this van, man. I mean, it really stinks. This garbage stinks. This whole thing just stinks. Now I'm going to a stinky place to dump where it stinks. You know, the dumps don't smell as bad as they used to because they, the way they handle everything is a little bit different. Um, so um, we'll see, guys. But uh, yeah, I'm on my way to the city dump, man. It's a $20 uh, one way, you know, when you take your stuff. And they also charge you. If you have like furniture and things that's heavy, stuff like that, kind of specialty things, you know, they charge you for the weight. But regular garbage, like I have, you know, you just pay a one-time $20 fee to go inside, which is expensive. And it's only going to take me maybe 10 minutes, if that, to dump this van. But uh, that's $20, man. So they always robbing the, robbing the community, man. Like, you know, I just don't like it, man. That's, it should... I know they got to pay their, 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 their workers and all that, but you know, I don't know, man. I guess it's part of the city. The city charges if you want to use it, then that's all you can do. All right, guys, I'll see you at the dump. Guys, I forgot to show you me emptying the trash out. Well, I didn't do the trash. I did cardboard, 
and uh, styrofoam, but I'm gonna do the garbage here in a second. Um, and the guy was kind of showing me how to do it and all that, so I didn't film, guys. But uh, uh, hopefully, I can show you a little bit of footage of me dumping all this garbage out because it stinks, man. And I got my uh, I got my uh, Glade here spray to spray this van out, and I brought a broom to sweep everything out. So uh, you know, because I don't want to turn the van in and they want to say, "Oh, you got to clean this van." But I'm gonna take care of that, guys. But yeah, I'll see you in a second. All right, guys, I got some of it out right now, as you can see. It's a mess in here, man. This is the dump right here. This is the dump. I'm dumping all this stuff in there in it. Any of y'all wanna come and help me, man? I need some help, man. I need some help. Come on through, man. Help me out. Guys, now I gotta clip, I gotta sweep all this stuff out the back of the van, man. It's a mess. It is a complete mess. Here's my little old broom I was gonna throw out. We got new brooms now, so I'm gonna use this to sweep it on out. Hey guys, this is the best I can get it. It wasn't that clean when I got it, so this is gonna have to do once I get a water hose and wash it out. Now I'm getting ready to spray it out, guys. Get ready to spray it out. Get that smoke out of here. You can see guys, but there's gnats flying around here. I don't know if my camera's that good to pick them up, but there's gnats flying around. Whenever you see gnats, guys, that means something's dirty, something's nasty, something's not clean. So I'm gonna have to roll this window down, let them fly out of here. Yep. This is the dump, guys. This is the city dump. Landfill. Yep, there's the garbage trucks over there. Yep, guys, I said it was a job well done. Go back and uh, turn this van back in and be done for the day. Let you guys see how all this stuff looks. I couldn't work at this, you know, I think they play pre pay pretty well to work in a place like this, man. But you know, to breathe all this nasty trash every day, I don't think I could do it, man. You know, I don't value money over my health. You know, no telling what you're gonna be breathing, man. People bring in paints and chemicals and garbage and, and all that stuff's contaminated. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, I think small things like this is the reason why people get cancer and they don't smoke. You know, they do the right things and they get cancer. Even kids, man, I think we get exposed to certain chemicals that causes cancer and uh, I don't think they figured that out yet. You know, they just know cancer comes, they don't know where it came from. They're trying to cure it. They're getting close to curing some certain kinds of cancer anyway. But they really don't know what causes cancer, man. I think it's chemicals in the atmosphere. I'm at the stop sign right now. It looks all clear like I can just pull on up. If I'm not, somebody will come out and say, hey, what are you doing? So now I gotta get back on the scale. They're gonna weigh me again. I don't want to show this camera. They might not allow, allow me. They might not want me filming around here. So, okay, I'm done. I paid my twenty dollars and I'm good to go. Now I'm hoping I don't have any type of issues to turning this van in. I don't think I am because it wasn't all that clean when I got it. So obviously they can't be expecting them that close. You know, as long as it's not just obvious, just dirt, dirt, disgusting. I think they'll take it. So guys, I'm going to tune out right now and uh, I hope you enjoyed this segment of Hollywood's Reality TV.